Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, December 26th. We're just going to jump right in here, Taurus. And we are going to look at your past energies. We're going to basically just do a past, present, future. And um, we're going to look at your past energies in this first position. Uh, you have this retrograde card, which... Uh, makes sense. <laughs> you know, we have a retrograde basically at starting. Well, I mean, you know, we're in the shadow now and it's starting at the end of the week. So, um, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you could be kind of just reviewing things from the past. Um, oh, I love this card right here. You have this takeoff card, which is like a card of uh, taking off things, getting moving like a powerful change. And you even have this card that says a powerful change will transform your life. And you have the tower. Like, are you kidding me? So the tower you know, scares a lot of people, but the tower can be a positive change. It can be something, you know, to me, the tower is always positive because even if it seems negative when you have a tower moment, um, it always removes something old that is outdated from your life. That's the whole point of the tower. So you have this retrograde card. I meant to pull another one of these as well. You have the south node. It says the past. Um, I would be careful of like getting stuck in the past. I do feel there's something wrinkled in your life. It's like popping into my head as like something that's wrinkly. <laughs> but I don't know if that's like my intuition just trying to tell me like there's something old that needs to stay old like in the past in your life. And, you know, it could be like a past relationship or a past idea or something like that. And, um, you know, I, the other thing that I feel like saying, I'm not trying to be mysterious here either, Taurus, but. I feel like there are just some changes, like there are just some things that you just don't see coming yet. And, you know, I feel like this is a good thing. Like, you know, if you're like worried about money or if you're worried about like, will you have love in the near future or whatever, the, this could be why you're thinking about the past. Sometimes I think like if we're worrying about money, we start doing the whole like, oh, you know, we kind of go back to the past. Maybe when things were a little bit easier, maybe, you know, maybe you just left a job or something that was supporting you. And you start thinking like, oh, I should go back to the past. Or, you know, sometimes when we're single for too long, we're like, you know, uh, maybe I should go back to the past because at least I had a person, <laughs> you know, all those things. But I really get here that something just needs to stay in the past. You have the three of cups, uh, the six of swords and the four of swords here. I feel like kind of this is a practice. Like I almost feel like this is something that you could be doing that could help you through this period of time. This four of swords, kind of like slowing things down just gathering your thoughts, trying to, if you find yourself getting like a little bit overwhelmed, like, again, sometimes I think, you know, kind of like what I get here, I'm just going to tell you, it's kind of a weird message, Taurus. Like, I feel this nostalgia, you know, I feel, but I feel like, like sometimes I think we like lose something and then we start to panic, you know, because we don't have it anymore. And we start thinking like, oh my God, I have to like do something. I feel like this is saying in those moments where you feel like you've lost something, in those moments where you feel like you have to kind of, you know, really grab on to something and run back to something, I feel it'd be better just like take, just set a timer for like five, 10 minutes and just be like, you know, I'm just going to sit here for five, 10 minutes and change my thoughts and think about something else. Because I think that after, you know, you do that, um, you'll be gaining some clarity. You also have the Six of Swords here. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to make that work. But you have the Six of Swords, which is like moving on to calmer shores. This really is what's telling me that you are moving in the right direction and that you made the right decision. For those of you that decided to leave something behind, I feel like you've made the right decision. For others that are making a change, I feel like you've made the right decision. You know, I think also that this Six of Swords actually could be kind of sh uh, showing us why there might be some fears here because... You know, the woman and the child in this boat, they have nothing on their backs. They're making a change. You know, they're making a change with nothing. They are leaving their whole entire life behind. That's the whole point of the Six of Swords is that they're leaving, you know, everything behind them to get to calmer shores, but they're not taking anything with them. So I feel for a lot of you, you know, that could be where some of the fears are coming from. Uh, I kind of feel like this Three of Cups could be the past, but I also feel this is kind of like some sort of celebration that you could be having. I also feel like support or that you are being supported at this time. So, and you know, next you in, in your present position, you have this blessed card, even though that is your present position, I don't necessarily think you have these blessings yet. I feel like these are things that are kind of developing. Uh, with the three of cups, you have this resourcefulness card. I feel like you've proven to yourself, you know, multiple, multiple times that you are very resourceful. And sometimes I think we just need to give ourselves credit 
So you've had to learn how to be resourceful. I feel like you have been resourceful. Like that's sometimes I think that if we're in one of these moments as well, (laughs) where we want to run back to the past, that's the only thing we have to do. We have to just look at how far we've come. So, you know, I feel like you have to look at how far you've come because then you will realize, wait a minute, I don't need this old wrinkly bozo from the past, or I don't need, you know, this job from the past or whatever it is. Look, with the six of swords, you are moving towards great fortune. You have this fortune card. So clearly you're going in the right direction. The ch- like I feel, you know, I think that your your own worst enemy right now will be second guessing yourself. So no second guessing. You're going in the right direction. There are like improvements, major improvements on the horizon. I feel like some of you could be getting attention here as well. Uh, with the four of swords, you have this discovery card. It's kind of like you're going into the unknown, you know. So for a lot of you, you could be doing things in your life that you've never done before. So it's like obviously that can bring up fears and worries and doubts and all that other stuff. But it's like, once you do it, then I feel like you'll be fine. You'll be like, oh, this is easy. And the other thing is, is that you seem to be one of those signs. There are a couple signs that I feel are kind of like really focused on building confidence right now or being more confident. You have the queen of wands next, right next to this. And it's like, once you do some things you're afraid of, then you're like, okay, what what, what else can I do? And then that makes you more successful or, <laughs> you know, more whatever. Uh, next, in your present position, you have this blessed card. I keep forgetting to pull two cards here. And this between worlds card. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is like, the, you know, look at this card right here. It's like, it's this flamingo between black and white and like color over here. So, you know, I feel that you could just be in this in-between time right now where maybe not everything is falling into place. It's almost as if maybe there are some important pieces of your puzzle that seem to be missing, but they're on their way, clearly. And you have this blessed card, so I feel like there is a blessing coming in for you, but it has to do with some sort of change or transformation, you know, based off having the tower in the last row. Again, I don't really feel this is a bad tower moment, I feel like this is a good tower moment. You have the Fool, the Moon card, and the Queen of Wands. I do feel like you need to be bold and assertive at this time, like really go for what you want. She kind of is also taking a risk. Um, You know, I always say that she doesn't have any salamanders on her card, and all the other uh, Wands court cards have salamanders on their cloak or on the card or whatever. And the salamanders represent protection from fire. She also has this cat right here, this black cat. And during the times of tarot, black cats were considered like very unlucky. They're not still unlucky. So again, for all you cat ladies out there, yes, I don't, I don't care if you have a black cat. That's great. Uh, We're talking about the tarot card. We're not talking about your black cat named Mittens, right? And what I would say here is that the whole point of the black cat is that she does not care what anyone else thinks. And I kind of feel that embracing that energy would be very beneficial for you. Like just not caring what anyone thinks about anything that you're doing in your life, (laughs) Uh, kind of developing that type of confidence. Uh, She also moves towards her happiness. She has this sunflower right here and the sunflowers in the tarot represent the sun. And so I feel if you move towards things that make you feel fulfilled, things that make you feel happy, that's what I'd be moving towards, Um, you know, plain and simple. You have the moon here. So again, like still in this period of not being sure if you're moving in the right direction, the moon just says, keep going, don't stop, right? There are these mountains in the background here. These ro- This road goes all the way up to the top of those mountains there. And mountains represent achievements in the tarot. The moon specifically kind of represents needing to make sure you don't get off your path. These two pillars here on the moon are kind of a warning to the fool. On he, You know, he's on his, the fool's journey. And the the two pillars kind of say like, don't get distracted by some sort of shiny object or something new. Keep going um, and be laser-like focused. Right next to it, you have the Ace of Swords. So laser-like focus on your goals, wishes, dreams uh, would be a good idea. I also feel it would be kind of like, what's popping into my head in this row as well, is I feel it would be a good idea for you to kind of have like a, just like a general, <laughs> like a general outline of what you want for your future. Almost, um, you know, almost like not very specific. Um, and I feel like you can get specific later, right? But right now I feel like you need to, it's almost like you could be developing some like principles, right? It's like when we have certain principles, it's like we can live with those rules, but it's like there could be other things that fit into those principles. Like um, maybe you need to have some principles about love, right? Maybe there need to be certain things that a person has. It's like kind of more general, but kind of specific. I hope that makes sense. It's popping into my head. Uh, You have the fool card here. I feel like some of you are on a journey or you have been on a new journey with the fool. 
I also feel that you're kind of like over prepared. You know, he has this little sack on his back and it kind of represents that he have he has everything he needs to be successful in his head. He's about to go through the whole entire major arcana. It, it is like a big journey that he is going on. He's basically bringing nothing with him, it, you know, except for hope and like faith and all this other stuff. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you that you're clearly in this space of kind of like uh, flying by the seat of your pants, right, Taurus, and not being sure kind of like wh where you're going in your life or what direction you're going in. So let's see. Uh, with the Fool card, you have this Secrets card. I don't really feel, you know, you have the Moon here, which is also a card of Secrets. I don't think this is like Secrets, like a person. I feel like this is Secrets as in there are things that you have to learn, but the only way to learn them is going to be through experience. The Fool. It's like you have to have the experience to learn the Secrets of whatever journey you're on. So I kind of feel it's time for you to do that, especially if you've been thinking about doing something or if there's an experience that you think would bring you blessings with that blessed card right there, um, I would be looking at that, exp like whatever it is. Maybe you think it's love. Maybe you're like, oh, if I go find love, then I'll have these blessings. Maybe you want to build a family or whatever. I feel like this is saying, okay, great, but you actually have to go do it. <laughs> so get moving. With the uh, full, uh, sorry, with the moon card, this is a great reading, Taurus. Look, you have this riches card. There's cl clearly a lot of abundance coming in for you here. I feel like the, um, you know, you're not the only sign, by the way, so I'm not calling you out, but I feel there's this element of like panic this week. I, I can't put my finger on it if I'm, be, you know, I, I really, <laughs> uh, I, like I always say, I don't think that I'm meant to know any, anything or everything, right? And uh, I just have been feeling this for like multiple signs, this feeling of panic, like feeling like, oh, um, you know, the shit's hitting the fan or there's like something going on or I'm going to lose money or, you know, it's almost like that background feeling where you kind of feel there's something coming, but you're not sure, you know. Um, but the interesting thing is, is that every single reading has been like, yeah, but things are fine. <laughs> so I don't know who, who the hell knows what that means. Take it how it resonates. But, you know, there you go. With the Queen of Wands, you have this optimism card. Like, are you kidding me? It's like, clearly there's a lot of reasons to be happy optimistic. I feel like that's what we should be focusing on as well, especially if there's this background feeling of like dread or that something is going to happen or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, next in the area of the future, you have this uh, takeoff card. It says things will take off much sooner than expected. Now is a good time to take action. There's no stopping you now. So even though we're in the retrograde energy, if, you know, if you've been working on something before, since before the retrograde, um, you know, I always say I like working on things during the retrograde <laughs> because, uh, you know, to me, during the retrograde is a great time to make mistakes. So I support you in that. Uh, you also have this card that says a powerful change will transform your life. We already talked about this. Clearly, tower. The thing with the tower is that it can be an uncomfortable change. Um, I do feel like you need to pay attention to discomfort is what I would say to you, Taurus. Like if you're in an uncomfortable position um, in your life, that could be trying to kind of like motivate you to make a change, right? But you have the tower, the ace of swords, and the seven of cups. You know, the thing here is that I feel like you're accepting the truth very, very quickly. You know what's interesting is like, <laughs> I remember one time I used to have to like drive an hour to work every single day, like really far away. And one time I was coming, it was like kind of like snowing uh, one day. It wasn't like really slippery or anything like that, but I was coming up over this hill and a person had stopped at these uh, train tracks that were like in front of me. And like, I just like wasn't paying attention. And like I slam on my brakes, right? Because I, I like noticed it last second, this person in front of me, I like slammed on my brakes. And I, I, I kid you not, I was, uh, you know, uh, flies hair away from this person's ass, basically. I like almost hit them, right? But I didn't. But in that moment, it's like think everything slowed down, <laughs> and um, you know it's like one of the, it was like such a weird thing because it was like slow motion. Everything slowed down. And I was like kind of like I w even remember my thoughts at that time. I was like, well, you know, um, I'm gonna hit this person, <laughs> and I just kind of was like, okay, it is what it is. Like there's nothing I can do, and I just kind of like released it. You know what I mean? I just relaxed and just went with it, right? But I didn't, <laughs> and uh, you know, I I don't know why I feel like I needed to tell you that, but. You know, for some of you, I feel like this Ace of Swords is kind of like saying that you're accepting some sort of truth, but it's almost like because you're accepting it, um, that's exactly the thing that is allowing you to avoid disaster. Uh, that's what I feel like saying. Again, it's almost like, and I'm not even saying you're going to get this close to hitting someone. I don't even think it's that type of disaster. For a lot of you, I feel like it could be financial or um, it could be love, but it's like in the releasing of it is the thing that is kind of 
allowing you to avoid disaster. I don't know. I don't know what else to say there. Um, I also feel there could be a victory clearly coming in for you. It could be an accepting a truth, right? With the tower. These two people, it's like, there's two people here. One person is like, dive in head first. That person, he has accepted the truth. He knows the tower is on fire. <laughs> he knows that the crown is falling off. The other person's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Like, you know, totally shocked by what they can see with their own two eyes right in front of them. Even if they were blind, they could smell the fire, right? So for some of you, I feel... It's not like you're accepting a tower moment. I feel like you're accepting changes that are happening around you. And because of that, it's like you're being successful. Uh, for others, I also just feel that this is, again, I feel this is like a good tower. Uh, some of you could be moving or traveling, but I really feel it's just like a shock. Like things are happening very quickly for you this year. Not even just this week, but I feel like 2023, things could be improving. Like, a, you know, there could be a big like turnaround type energy here. Uh, you have these seven of cups as well. Um, again, I keep getting general, general, uh, you know, go general. <laughs> I think it's Esther Hicks or Abraham Hicks who says go general sometimes. Like, you know, the law of attraction is normally about being super specific. But sometimes, you know, I, I um, again, don't quote me on this because I, I never pay attention when she talks about this, of course. But it's like I'm pretty sure when she talks about, um, you know, resistance, she says go general. Don't go specific because you're just creating more resistance when you're too specific, right? So I feel like you need to focus like on what you want. Maybe there's a certain outcome um, that you want in an area of your life. But I feel like being too specific will kind of make you come up with all the reasons why it won't work. But I feel like if you're more general, like if you're saying like, if you want love, for example, if you're saying like, oh, I love the feeling of feeling loved. I like that feeling. That's like very general, right? It's not very specific because everybody likes to feel loved. But I feel like if you focus on that, then you could be attracting love. Or if you want money, I feel like if you say to yourself like, oh, I love the feeling of being able to spend money or I, I love the idea that I could one day buy a Ferrari or a yacht or whatever the case may be. Like, I feel like if you go general, uh, it's going to put you in a much better space. Uh, with the tower, you have this. You do have this caution card, <laughs> so I would be careful of tower moments. Um, you know what? We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull more details on this because I just feel flip floppy with this tower, and I'm not gonna like you know get caught up in something here. So hold on. Um, with it, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Choices card. Uh, where where can you put your energy and get it back? Plain and simple. I mean, you know, this to me says if you have a choice to make at this time, where does your ener energy where is it better used? Where does it better serve you? Where do you see better results? That's what I feel like saying to you. You know, it's like this could be in relationships. Maybe you have a choice between two people. Where do you get the result that you actually want? Who is focused on the thing that you actually want? Which person? That's who I would pick. Um, same thing with, um, you know, work or business. It's like, where do you get your results? I would focus on that. With the uh, seven of cups, you have this intuition card. Definitely trust your intuition. You know, here's the thing. This is like a head over heart type of energy here as well like some of you might have to make like a head over heart decision at this time and so i would trust your heart more than anything your feeling i don't always say that sometimes i feel like we should trust our into you know our our brain <laughs> but i feel like you need to trust your intuition here can we get more details about this tower moment the caution like what's going on here uh you know i but right away i feel that you could have too many people giving you opinions that could be like the warning here is that you have too many people giving you too many ideas and i feel like you need to sit with yourself you have the page of swords you, the four of swords is also your answer i feel like that four of swords is saying you know can you slow things down can you slow down the energy and um you know uh gather intuitive details you have the king of cups as well this could be involving your home uh is what i'm getting here or where your heart belongs to so some of you need to take some time to think. I don't really feel this is a person. I really feel this is talking about your home. Uh, some of you could be moving or traveling. So I feel like you need to think about that. <laughs> I don't I don't know what else to say there. And um, you also have the judgment card, major rev revelation. Uh, to me, the tower and the judgment card is the most powerful uh, combination in the tarot. Uh, it me represents like a major revelation, a major wake up call. So I feel like you're having, you could just be having a wake up call at this time. I feel like that caution card is saying you need to be careful of like what the, you know, the people in your life, like what they say basically about the choices that you're making. I feel like you need to listen to yourself. Uh, you, uh, I'm going to pull five main themes. You have this reconciliation card. I do feel like you could be thinking about a person from the past. I don't think you're necessarily reconciling. If anything, I feel like you'd be moving towards a king of cups type person, but I don't really see this as a love reading. So, you know, it is what it is, but I would be careful of someone from the past. Uh, you have this dark man card, and um, I always clarify these people cards. This card says dealings or relationships with a man um, with dark complexion or hair. You also have this carrot card that says opportunity or windfall. So 
It could be any gender, but I do feel some of you could be working with a person and they could be bringing you major opportunities or riches. Again, you have this riches card showing up here. Uh, you have this haystack card that says, karma, you will reap what you have sown. I feel this is positive karma. I feel like you could be getting some rewards for the things that you're doing in your life. Uh, you also have this June card. It says June on it. You also have this chair empty card. It says someone is leaving your life. For some of you, this could be a person who is leaving your life. For others, like I do feel like this could be like a family issue. <laughs> um, you know, it's like you could have a, uh, what is that called? Like estrangement type situation that's going on in your life here. Um, you know, and it could have happened back in June, in the month of June in 2022. And so you could be like kind of working through that situation. For others, I feel like something did happen. Maybe it's not like an estrangement, but I feel like there's been this back and forth kind of like family energy here that you've been dealing with. Uh, finally, you have this bouquet card that says compliments from an admirer. There definitely could be love coming in for you here. Uh, really, I feel like your brain is being taken up by a transformation that you're going through. Clearly, tower, judgment card, this powerful transformation card as well. Uh, I feel like you need to sit with yourself and listen to yourself here, Taurus, and that will give you the best opportunities. So, uh, looks good. Uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.